Hey guys, what's up? It's JR Cuber. In this video, we have an unboxing from the cubicle.us. So in here should be the brand new dreidel 3x3. So here is the cube, and then the business card is down there. So the dreidel 3x3 is made by Lim Cube, which seems to be like a side brand of Fangxi, sort of. Um, which I guess I hear is their line of non-WCA puzzles, and this is the first one. So as you can see, the dreidel looks sort of like a 3x3 in that it has these types of cuts, and it actually does move that way as a 3x3. It actually doesn't turn bad in its 3x3 moves. It's not really finger trickable, but uh, if we're comparing it to Mefferts or MF8, this actually turns pretty good. But it would be pointless if it was just a 3x3. There is other functions, and that is that the corners can actually rotate like this. And uh, wow, that's cool. Now these actually are really smooth as well. And so that adds for added uh, functionality as well as shape shifting. This puzzle does not jumble, but as you can see, it does shape shift. And so it can lead to some pretty weird, um, pretty weird stuff. And, but like I said, it does not jumble because nothing gets bandaged. No matter how you move it, um, nothing will get bandaged together. And so since that's what jumbling does, uh, it bandages things. And this does not bandage. This is not a jumbling puzzle, this is a shape-shifting puzzle. So the color scheme on this is a bit different as well. It's got uh, gray instead of white, opposite yellow, and then pink instead of orange. But other than that, it looks like the color scheme is correct. So let's do a bit of a size comparison. This is a bit bigger, actually a lot bigger than a normal 3x3 as you can see. So let's actually compare it to a 4x4. Okay, it's bigger than a 4x4. I'm thinking it's about 65 millimeters because uh, normal 4x4s are 62. So the solving of this I think is going to be quite an interesting challenge. It's, it looks like it might combine elements from a dino cube or a rex cube as well as a 3x3, um, but it's hard to say how this is going to be solved. It definitely does need some lube. I'm, I am going to try lubing it and see if it gets any better, but for now at least, let's just go ahead and scramble it. So I think we'll go ahead and start with some 3x3 scrambling. And then I think we can start in with some of these moves and then continuing to do 3x3. Oh, one of the stickers just fell off. Yeah, one of these stickers totally just fell off. Let's see, where was that? Okay, here it is. That doesn't appear to be a very good sign. I hope the stickers don't fall off that often, but this one just doesn't seem to be stuck down very well at all. Well, for now, I think I'm just going to leave that off. I think I'll maybe try and super glue it back on, but I hope that's not a problem with the stickers. But anyway, let's go ahead and continue scrambling. All right, so I think that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and start shape-shifting it. So it looks like locking is a bit of a problem. I'm getting some, uh, some catches on the pieces. Uh, and that's sort of to be expected with these types of puzzles, but yeah, this is definitely gonna need lube because I'm having a lot of issues with the movement right now. Uh, just with catching and stuff. As you can see, it's getting really scrambled and it's, uh, it's pretty crazy. So I think that's uh, pretty well scrambled. I'm gonna go and solve it, and I'll be back after I've done some more work on this puzzle, uh, just to let you guys know more about it. So I'm back, and I've solved the dreidel a couple of times now, and I'll tell you right now, it's a really interesting solve. It's actually nothing like a dino cube or a rex cube. Basically the way you solve it is you pair up uh, all of these pairs right here, and then you put in these little triangle pieces with their corresponding uh, corners, and then you take all these pairs and match them up with their edges, and then you solve it like a 3x3. Three three. But of course it's not that simple, there's a couple parodies that can happen. You can get a parody where um, just two of these pieces need to switch, um, and then you can get a parody where you have a corner twist. Um, and the corner twist is actually a lot easier to deal with. I won't show you guys how to do it if you want to try and figure it out, but it's a really easy way to do it. But I actually did try to lube this, and the turning is uh, a little bit better than what it was before, but it's still really not that great. It's, uh, it's still pretty stiff, but it's better than it was before, and I bet with some working in, it could be a lot better. Now that sticker that did fall off, um, I did super glue it back on, and there were a couple more that uh, fell off that I had to glue back on, which was annoying. It only happened on the red face, but uh, it just was something that was really annoying to, had to, that I had to deal with. 
Now this cube can actually make for some really cool patterns. So something I found that's really cool to do, if you uh, turn all the corners so that, let's say on the pink face, you have all these little pink sections right here, I don't know what to call them, these little three-piece sections uh, facing the same way, so like that. And then you do the same on the other side with the red face. So you do like that, and then you checker it. It actually is really cool. So once you checker it, then you just undo all of these moves, and uh, it does this. And uh, I think that just looks really cool. And there's a whole bunch of other patterns. I know my friend Daz Cubing, who has this, was able to make a full checker, including these uh, little pieces here. And uh, I don't, I haven't still haven't figured out how he did it, but it looks really cool. I'm not sure if he's posted a picture on his Instagram, but it looks really cool. Also, by the way, I wanted to talk about the name real quick. Uh, if you guys don't know what a dreidel is, it's basically this. And so I think the naming is kind of interesting. I mean, I don't know how they came up with that for this uh, cube. But it is a really cool puzzle, and I would recommend it to someone who likes non-WCA puzzles and likes a challenge, because this definitely uh, screws with your head and it's really hard to solve. I personally don't solve these non-WCA puzzles all that often, and if I do, I like the easy ones, so I tend to stick more towards the Dino Cubes and the Rex Cubes and those types of corner turners, and just the easier non-WCA puzzles. But for a challenge, this one is really great. It is pretty pricey. I think it's about $45 or so on the cubicle, but they were nice enough to send this out to me to review. But if you guys would like to get one, of course, I'll leave the link in the description. And uh, that's about it. So if you like this video, give it a like. And if you haven't already done so, like my Facebook page, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and of course, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.